Um, so as I was praying over there, uh, the Holy Spirit said I should say two things. The first thing is, you know, all of us were in a season in our lives where um, there's a lot of different directions that the Lord can take us because we're so young, we have so many years to grow. And one thing that the Lord really is telling me, as well as wants to tell you guys, is I should not limit him. You know, we all have our plans, but there is one plan that you don't even know that can incorporate all the things you're good in, all the things that he has, because you know, we all have gifts. The Lord has given each and every one of us a thing that only us can do. Only, you know, Yoluwa or Jaramukuru can accomplish this thing because of the experiences I've had and the gifts that the Lord has given me. And so I want you guys just to not limit God because you don't know where he's going to take you. Like a good example, um, the Lord said I should run for a Senate position in my school. I said, me, Yoluwa, I'll never get it. Because everyone that's running, they're running, you know, they're running again, or they're part of a fraternity. Like, they have a huge backing. No one knows me. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to obey. If I lose, I lose, you know. And I won. And I was, it was, a, it was amazing. Because I didn't, I really didn't think I'd, I'd get it at all. Like, at all. Like, I thought I didn't have a chance. And that really showed me that the Lord, you know, the, that's the thing with God. It's like, he's not limited by time. So when he says that he knows our future, he's already there in our future. He's literally there and he's just telling us, just follow the path. Because I literally see what's going to happen. You don't see it, but that's why I'm guiding you on the path. So that you can reach the destiny that I have created you to accomplish. Because there's a destiny that all of us are created to accomplish. That I cannot accomplish. Only you can fulfill that destiny. And the Lord just wants me to tell you that you're going to get there, but you need his grace because, you know, the, like Pastor Falu was saying, the devil does not want us to reach our destiny at all. Not only will he use um, distractions like, you know, TV or whatever, but he use people to take you away from the destiny that the Lord wants to take you on. I just want to tell you, just don't limit God. He knows where you are. He knows where you're going. And he knows what you will become. And then the other thing I want to say is don't be afraid to let your light shine. Because I know sometimes, I, I know, I mean, they're, they've all been saying, I don't know, I don't know. Me, I know, because I'm in your seat. Me, I know what's going on. Let me, let's be honest with ourselves here. Let's be real. This is church. If you can't be real here, where will you be real? You know what I mean? I know where you are. I know, I know, I know how it's like. I know sometimes it's tough to show that light. But when you show that light, you don't even know there's some people whose lights that have been extinguished. Your own lights will now bring forth their own light. And before you know it, the room is all lit up. And that's the beauty of it. So just don't be afraid. You know, I know it's, I, I know, I know there's certain situations like, you know, can I say, let me give an example. I'm going to be very real in the church. Marijuana. A lot of people smoke marijuana. So the Lord said, tell your friend not to smoke weed. I said, ah. I don't know how that will. How can I be telling her? He said, just tell her. You know, you know how God is. Just say it. So I just said, you shouldn't be smoking weed. She said, you know what? You're right. I'm going to quit. I said, eh? <laughs> wow. I didn't know it was like that. And that's the truth. You know, you don't. The thing about when the Lord gives you a word, he knows their heart. He knows what they're going through and he knows what they need. You know, so you need to tell, like, don't be afraid. Because you don't know, that could be, you could be the only Jesus someone sees in their life. You could be the only Jesus. So you need to be, show that light because you don't know who needs him. They all need him. But you could be that one that could just bring them close enough for him to show them their love. So just, you know, number one, don't limit God. Let your cup be empty so he can fill you. Because if your cup is filled with all sorts of junk, what God has planned for you is going to spill all over the place. But if you empty your cup, he can full, fill you to the highest place. But don't, don't, don't put a limit on your cup. Make sure your cup is empty. Because the Lord will continue to fill you. That's one thing I'm learning. Is that I keep limiting God. I said, God, I will not, I will not get this position. He said, you got it. I said, eh, wow. I've been limiting God my whole life. And the thing with God is that he's limitless, limitless. He's infinite. There's literally no limit on God because he's literally everything all at once. So you can't limit something that is limitless, right? 
So just, you know, keep your cup empty. Let him fill, flow in you, through you to others. You know, because one thing I'm learning, like, that's the thing with me is, the Lord tells me to do something. I just, I don't question it anymore. He knows what, he knows what they need. And it's just been, it's just been amazing. I've just been telling people, hey, Jesus loves you. Like, really? We just have a whole conversation. Boom, before you know it, they come to Bible study. Before you know it, they give their life to Christ. That's how it's supposed to be. You know, Jesus did not go to the church. He didn't go to the church. Where did he go? He went where the sinners were, right? So we need to also be cautious not to just, oh, let me just, uh, let me raise my hand in church. You know, let me just do this. Let me just do that. You know, I love God. And then when you're in the world, you're like, oh, I don't know if I should. I don't know if I should. I don't know if I should. You should. That's the enemy trying to take away someone's salvation because hell is at stake. It's true. If you don't say it, someone will go to hell. Let's be real here. Hell is real. Just like heaven is real, hell is real. Some people, you're the only Jesus they'll see. If you're not Jesus, before you know it, hellfire. They're now burning in hell for eternity. So, I mean, they have to think about it. People's salvation is at stake. Heaven and hell is at stake. So, you know, just be vigilant, 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 vigilant. I don't know how you say it. I don't know how you say it. But just be vigilant in your faith. Amen.